So I'm so excited to do the last book tag. I don't do a lot of tags because I'm picky about tags. I like the, I think Destiny said well made the tag. Um, the like end of year tag. That one I really liked. So I participated in that one. This tag is said to be created by Becoming Valo. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, but anyway, I like her channel and subscribe to her. So that's not why I'm doing this tag, but I think it's a good tag. So anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. So what is the last book you purchased? I'm very glad to do this video because I didn't have a reason to talk about this book. And now I do. Because I purchased Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chipeko. And I bought this on Google Play, so I don't have it physically, so I couldn't really like talk about it. And I just bought one book, so I didn't like have a haul or anything. So I finally have a chance to talk about this book. It's a vampire book. I hear it has a lot of action. I think it's like urban fantasy. Um, I'm not sure if it's YA. I think I read it as YA. But let me know if it's adult or YA. Um, I just, all I've heard about it, I don't want to know too much. I just know it has a lot of action. I think it's going to be pretty gnarly because it's a vampire book. But anyway, I own that in Google Play so I can read that whenever. And yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know a lot, but I'm excited. The next question is, what is the last book that you recently started? That would be Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is book one in the Infernal Devices um, series, and I'm like two chapters in, but um, I really, really like it so far. I hope it doesn't disappoint. So I'm really happy about that. It's my first Cassandra Clare book. So the next question is, what is the last book that was gifted to me? It had to be way back Christmas, I think. And that'd be The Truce We Hold by Kamala Harris. I think this is the last book. It was, you know, three or four months ago, so it was kind of a while ago. So yeah, I haven't read that yet, but I hope it's a good memoir. Um, the last book you gave someone, so I gave my boyfriend Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. So he picked out a book for us to buddy read. It was Skyward. Skyward was okay to me, but he liked it and kept going, so I used my library card and checked out Cytonic for him, so I'll count that as a gift. So, yeah. The next question is, what is the last book you, re you recently finished? And that would be, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Akweke Emezi, and this is a romance book can't tell you the tropes because it you'll spoil it it's very short so just go into it thinking it's a novella if you want to read a, a well-written short book about that's spicy with people of color go ahead highly recommend the writing was really good and i think to me it was four stars so what is the last Five star book. <laughs> I was shocked. It's House of Earth and Blood by Sandra Mass, which I read in January, which is kind of. <laughs> but I don't feel too bad because I've read a lot of high fours, high four stars books. So it's fine. The last two star book I read was. Uh, not That Kind of Ever After by Lucy Adams. This book was interesting at first because I wanted to read a nice rom-com. Um, it was like just what I, it started out just what I needed at the time because I was reading romance books for February. And it, the author wrote an annoying character with like issues like of self-awareness and she was very needy and very insecure and very desperate and like that was all on purpose but she was just way too irritating and 
didn't. And the chapters really got shorter over time, which I just think, I don't know. I don't, the writer gave up or like she was rushing or what, but the, I just didn't like how the quality <laughs> took a nosedive. So yeah, that was two stars. I do not recommend that book. Um, so what is the last audiobook you listened to? I also have a good chance to talk about this. Uh, I actually listened to Twisted, sorry, Twisted Games by Anna Huang on Libby. But, <laughs> like, audiobooks take so long and it's hard to listen to them in the allotted Libby time. You have to be listening to it all day. Like, I don't know, it just takes a long time. And the male's voice, I think he was Reese again. I don't know. That name is so overused. I'll have to put his name on the screen. The voice actor has like a very deep voice. And so it wouldn't like knock me out. So I could not stay awake. I was listening to this at night and I just didn't like finish this book in time. So I think I will be generous and buy the physical copy, which is kind of bold because I'm not like in love with the book yet, but it's like, okay. So the last question is, what is the last DNF? And it's unfortunately The Art of the Scandal by Regina Black. It's kind of like, I don't really want to count it as a DNF because I read one chapter. It's more of a sample. But yeah, I really wanted to like this book, but the writing wasn't impressing me. There wasn't a large vocabulary. It was kind of cliched. I didn't like any of the characters. But yeah, I really wanted to like it, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please continue the last book tag, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.